The last reaction in our collection of addition reactions is hydration, the addition of water. So let's take the same examples that we had on the last slide, propene plus water. Uh, and this also requires a catalyst to occur. The catalyst is usually phosphoric acid. And again, this addition reaction is asymmetrical. The other one in here, we can add the new atoms in a sec. Okay, so in this first one, we could put a hydrogen here and we could put the OH here, or the other option is that the OH goes here and the hydrogen goes here. This first molecule is known as 2-propanol, or sometimes as propan 2 -pol. This one here is called 1-propanol or propan 1-pol. Right. Again, if we take 2-butene and perform the same reaction, you find, as you did with the hydrogen halides, that you get only one product. So, just to summarise those reactions again, here they are. Now, as I noticed before, you might have noted that the reactions are drawn in a slightly different manner than you're used to. The main molecule on which you're operating, if you like, is drawn out. That's this one here. Uh, but the other reactants are put as notes over the reaction arrows, such as the bromine here or the, the hydrogen here. For instance, if we take the hydrogenation, uh, the ethene is the reactant and ethane is the product. And the hydrogen, which is technically a reactant as well, in fact, we call it, it has a special name, it's called a reagent along with the platinum catalyst here. And we write those over the arrow. Now, the reactant is the molecule whose structure you are trying to modify. The reagent is the tool that you use to do the modification. So in this reaction, we're interested in the ethene. It is the reactant. The reagent is something that we use to change the structure of the ethene and turn it into ethane.